Hi, my name is Jacob Baykowski and I'm a support engineer here at Go Engineer. And today we're going to create a, on a margarita glass based off of this image here that I found online. This image is two dimensional. I'd like to turn it into a three dimensional margarita glass with some personalized flair on it because I like to celebrate with style. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to begin the sketch, uh, begin this part by creating a new, new part inch, and I'm going to choose the front plane as my parent plane for the sketch. I'm going to establish a line for the overall height through the center and make that overall eight inch high glass. Um, and I'm going to sketch a picture behind it. So I'm going to go to Tools, Sketch Tools, Sketch Picture, choose my margarita glass. And just to make it easy, I'm going to make this 8 here. That kind of fits it into the scale. Move it so that I kind of eyeball it right about center. And that eyeball that here. And shift this sketch up so that it aligns quite well. All right. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to hit the green check on that and start sketching the outline. I'm going to trace the outline of this picture and make a revolve from this. So I'm going to make a new line. This is a flat line. And then I'm going to use the spline tool to trace around the rest of this geometry. So now that I have the sketch profile I want, I'm simply just going to go Revolve Boss Base, select the sketch that I need, and now I have my margarita glass shape. I'd like to create a region in which I need to sip delicious margarita, and I'm going to make that thickness uh, th uh, 1 8 inch. Uh, I'm also going to shell, it's going to shell out the entirety of this model, which is actually what I want because it's going to remove extra material for my 3D printing that I don't need, saving me some money in print time. It may spit a thickness warning, but it should be able to shell. Excellent. All right, analyzing the model section view here, you can see I have some hollowed out regions because it, re it sectioned out the entirety of this geometry. But I would like to close it off right here where I have this sort of edge here so that the margarita just stays in the top portion of my margarita glass. Easy way to close this off is with the planar surface. The bounding entity already exists here at this edge, so I simply select it and it closes this off. In order to make this a 3D uh, geometry or something that's not just a 2D representation, it has to have a thickness to it, I can simply select the Thicken button here on my, sur on my Surfaces tab of the Command Manager. I like to thicken it an eighth inch. I like to thicken this surface plane. And I like to thicken it on the bottom. I would like Merge Result checked because I would like the thick this new thickened body and the main margarita body to merge as one single body. And if I hit the green check, we see here that there is only one solid body. And I've closed off this top portion here. All right, now this margarita glass needs a little bit of personalization. So let's give it that Go Engineer Cinco de Mayo flair. I'm going to start a new sketch on the front plane. And I'm going to make a center line, horizontal center line, about three quarters of an inch way down. And then I'm going to sketch some text on that. Use this line as the curve. Say, go cinco de mayo. Now right now it's a little bit too small, 
So I'm gonna change the document font. Let's go with 30. Cool. Goldilocks value. All right. Once I have that sketch text there, I can rebuild here and wrap this text around the outside with a wrap tool. Select the sketch. Select the face I'd like to wrap onto. In this case, I'm going to select emboss. I'd like it the feature to extrude out, and I'd like it to be an analytical wrap. If I choose a spline surface wrap, it's going to curve, and you'll see this in the preview. So I would like an analytical wrap around this geometry. And I'd like the thickness to be 0.1 inches. The green check, and voila. So as an engineer, I have to ask myself, how much liquid does this hold? So we can find this out by making an intersection and setting up a sensor. To do that, I need to create a plane. This plane must be coincident to this top face here. See if I select the face, make it coincident. And then choose the intersect tool with between the plane and the body that I have and an internal region. Excuse me. And I just want this region in here. Make sure that merge result is unchecked. Uh, because I would like these as separate bodies, right? This is the region in which my alcohol is sitting, and this is the body of the, um, excuse me, the margarita glass. And I want to set up a sensor, so I'm going to right-click here on my sensor folders. If you do not have the sensor folders, you can go to Hide Show Tree Items. And over here in Sensors, set sensors to show. I'm going to right click on the sensors folder, add a sensor, this is a mass property sensor, I'd like to select for volume, and simply select this intersect region in here. And it gives me this answer of 0 0.01456380375 feet cubed, which converted to fluid ounces is 14 fluid ounces. So it holds a good amount of, of, of margarita considering a typical margarita is about 3 to 5 ounces. Alright, so that's how you make a personalized margarita glass in SOLIDWORKS. Now we need to pre-process it for 3D printing. So I'm going to do that, I'm just going to save as an STL. So I'm going to go to File, Save As. Go in my vault here for 3D prints. Save it as an STL. Call it Cinco de Mayo. Change the options, make sure I'm in inches because I made the part in inches and I can change my resolution over here. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. Yes. Process complete.